is James, and I'm here with the Oracle Outlook for the week starting February the 27th, 2017. This week, I'm going to be doing a twofer. I'm going to be doing a tarot reading using angel cards. So the deck that's going to be assisting me for this week's reading is the Archangel Power Tarot cards. They are by Dorian Virtue, Radley Valentine, Jeff Bedrick, and they are published by Hay House. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the reading for the week. I have the deck sitting next to me on the table. So I'm going to be taking the deck in hand and I'm going to be shuffling the cards. And as I do for each of my weekly general readings, the intention being set or the question being asked is basically what do we need to know for the week ahead? shuffle the cards my other way, kind of wrap this up. Feeling that's good. Now I was specifically guided as to how I needed to pull the cards this week, so I was guided to cut the deck into three different piles and pull the top card from each of the piles. So. I'm doing as I was guided to do. So I pulled the three cards for the week and I'm putting the remainder of the deck aside. So now I have three cards face down in front of me. I'm going to read the cards from left to right. So the first card for the week is, oh, this is good. So we have Leap of Faith as the first card. So Leap of Faith is a major arcana card. And if you are familiar with tarot, this would be considered the fool in traditional tarot. So Leap of Faith, as the first card, being a major arcana card, it says that the week unfolding is going to contain in it some important issues, important events, or we're going to be embarking on a journey that's going to help with our spiritual growth and development, our spiritual evolution, our unfoldment, because that's how I tend to read major arcana cards. So Leap of Faith is a card that suggests that we're in a, in a space where we're moving into or embarking on a new phase or a new chapter in our life. We're moving into um, situations that are going to be creating new experiences for us. So I'm seeing that with this card. Um, Archangel Metatron is the angel who's uh, associated with this card. So for me, Archangel Metatron comes to us when we are embarking on a new spiritual path or being initiated into a new um, spiritual tradition of some kind. So if you're moving into exploring something new with your spirituality, Archangel Metatron is an angel that you can call on to assist you with that. Archangel Metatron is also good for helping us clear our um, energetic field. So I'm seeing that. So I'm seeing that in relation to a meaning of this card being like a fresh start or a clean slate. So with that, if you're feeling like you need to have your energetic field cleaned, then Archangel Metatron can assist with that. Another thing that I'm seeing with this card is that it can come up when it's time for us to kind of um, re-prioritize something in our lives, you know, giving it a new sense of energy, because this card, again, with Archangel Metatron being attached to it, can be about um, focus and prioritizing our lives or, you know, a change in priorities or having a newfound sense of priority with something that we are moving through this week. So if you are experiencing a shift in your priorities or there's something that you want to focus on or prioritize, Archangel Metatron is also good with that. The last thing that I want to say about this card, and it could be in relation to what I talked about into moving into a new um, spiritual path or exploring something new with spirituality. Archangel Metatron works with young people, but also works with indigo. So I'm seeing that kind of energy. I'm seeing another card from another deck, and that one is called indigo. So I'm seeing that in my head. So this may be for someone who is um, working with indigo children, or they are exploring the idea of being an indigo and what that means. And so if that is the case, 
Archangel Metatron wants to assist you in your explorations of being an indigo. The other thing with that too is that indigos are known for a heightened sense of sensitivity. So again, you may be exploring that and coming in, in touch with or becoming more aware of your sensitivity because it's becoming heightened. Um, one of the meanings of leap of faith for me is like your intuition being at its peak. So it could be something that is at its peak for you in terms of that um, chapter in your life or that, that phase that you're moving through. I'm going to read the text. The text says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what gives you joy. So that is my take on leap of faith for the week. Moving to the next card, we have Eight of Michael. So the Eight of Michael can come up and it's very interesting that it's following the leap of faith because the leap of faith can represent like I said, a new phase, new chapter, embarking on something new. And the Eight of Michael could suggest, like, if we are wanting to move into a new direction, if we want to embark on something new, Eight of Michael can come up when we're feeling challenged with, I don't know what the step should be, like that first step should be in moving forward, because this card is about wanting to make progress but not sure what the step is I need to take. And so that's very interesting that it would come on leap of faith. So it could be like we are asking for guidance. Particularly, I love that this card is associated with Archangel Michael, that we're asking for guidance about moving forward because one of the things that I associate with Archangel Michael is that he can help us with this sense of clarity about the very next action step. So what I'm seeing in the result of that, having said that, is that sometimes, and I'm guilty of this, Sometimes we can move into a new direction or being, feel like we're being pulled or being guided to move into a, a, a new direction. And we are not um, sure what the first step is in moving with that. Or sometimes we don't take a step because there is a strong need to want to see everything all laid out. So here's the thing with Leap of Faith. Leap of Faith is suggesting that you have to have a leap of faith or trust in source to show you what that next step is. And then you just have to take a leap of faith or trust in source, source energy, when the step shows up and take the step. What I've learned in my own personal practice of working with the angels, especially as a person who likes to have something all figured out or likes to see the big picture before I take the step, I learned that the angels or source or God energy or whatever you want to call that, sometimes only shows us the very next step, the most immediate step. And then we're supposed to go out on faith and take that step. And then once we take that step, the next step shows up. I've learned that sometimes what could happen is if we were shown the entire picture, the big picture from the start, a lot of us would get stalled because we would talk ourselves into the ideas like, and that's when our limiting beliefs will come up. We would say stuff like, well, I can't do that because, or that's just too grand, or whatever the case may be. We would come up with some reason as to not embark on the journey if we saw the whole entire process, right? So sometimes it's in our best and highest good not to be shown everything all at once because sometimes we can't handle that. So source... God, the angels, show us what the next immediate step is. So if you're feeling challenged, like you want to move in a direction, in a new direction, and you're not sure what the next step is, you can call upon your angels, especially Archangel Michael, and ask, what is the next immediate step I can take? So you could say, Archangel Michael, please guide me. Please inform me about the next step I can take in this process. And then, of course, thank the angels, thank Archangel Michael, as if you have already received that guidance. And then your job is to pay attention to when that guidance shows up and to take the step. Right? So that is Eight of Michael. I'm going to read the text. It says here, you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation and not seeing things clearly. So that is Eight of Michael. Now, moving to the last card for the week, we have... Two of Gabriel. Oh, I love this. Okay, so two of Gabriel. I love the scenario because the scenario is quite clear how it's being played out. Two of Gabriel can come up when we are looking at um, a plan 
this card represents like planning something in its planning stage, like a planning stage of development. So we're in this waiting period because we're, we're planning something. And this card says it's about waiting for the guidance before you venture out. And I love how it comes on everything that we've just talked about with Eight of Michael. So this card is about like if you're in a space where you're wanting to embark on something new, it could be like you can't take an action step. You can't move forward on it because you don't have all the information that you need to have. And that is why you're in this kind of like holding pattern, if you will, but this waiting period. And then once you get the guidance, then you can take action and you can move forward. Two of Gabriel can come up when we may be questioning the path that we're on. For me, this card can represent you are on the right path. It could just represent that there may be a timetable because I, I tend to look at this card as like having a timetable and you're waiting for certain things to happen on the timetable or on the timeline. So it could be like if you're looking at the bigger picture, if you receive guidance about the bigger picture, you may have to ask yourself, what needs to happen along the way to get me to that bigger picture, that end result? You know, and then ask yourself, what has to happen you know, in terms of like other people may be involved, other elements may need to be brought into the mix, that kind of thing. What else needs to happen, you know, in order for me to move forward? Because I'm really getting the sense of like, especially with the two being a number of relationships and partnerships, it could suggest like it may be other people being involved. And here's the thing about that. If other people are involved in any shape, form and fashion, then we have to honor people's free will choices. We all have the power of choice and we all have free will. And so sometimes we may have to wait for things to happen in the other person's world that was going to better prepare them and make them ready for what it is that we might need them for in terms of the thing that we're moving into or the thing that we need to accomplish, right? So it's a matter of this card is about waiting for the right elements to come together and then you can move forward on your plan. So I'm seeing that. But this card is about having um, a, a long range vision, right? So I'm seeing that. So I'll read the text. It says here, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So this week we're being asked to consider where we are in our lives, what new phase or stage or chapter are we embarking on moving into, you know, and then also to what is the next immediate step that we need to take, especially if we're feeling like we don't know how to progress, we don't know how to move forward, we can't see what the bigger picture is in the moment, then we can ask spirit and the angels to give us the next immediate action step and then take the step once it's given. Right. And then with that, you may see more steps along the way, the timeline now. Right. More steps will present themselves and you may get a better sense of what the bigger picture is. You know, and then if other people are involved or other elements need to be brought together, each one of those components has its right and perfect time. And it's just a matter of waiting for those to show up when they do. And when they do. It'll be in your best and highest good, and if there's other people involved, in their best and highest good. The other thing I'm being led to say with the two, the two is because we're in a two month, right? Or we're about to leave a two month, so this is the last week of a two month. But the two is a number of having faith, and that brings us right back to the very first card, leap of faith. So this is a week where we are, we are going to be exercising our ability to trust in source and to have faith moving forward. And so on that note, I will end and wrap up this week's Oracle Outlook reading. So as I close, I'm Jameson Mitchell, and I want to thank you for sharing space here with me for this week's reading. And I look forward to sharing the same space with you again in our next video reading together. So until then, I'm hoping that you have a wonderful day, and I'm hoping that you have a wonderful week filled with love, light, and many angel blessings. Take care.